Welcome back, guys. Here we are at the 10-month mark of our 28-way glass coatings and sealants longevity test that focuses mainly on the side and back glass. If you've been following along this month, you've heard me talk about how crazy hot it's been with every day being over 100 degrees or 38 degrees Celsius, some even hotter than that, and very little rain. This glass gets quite hot in excess of 180 degrees or 83 Celsius. So now we'll go ahead and foam things down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. You can see one of my little brackets that I had going on here broke, so I was trying to reset everything. I really kind of regret not having a frame for these glass, these pieces of glass because they have not held up very well just with the wind and everything else. They're just, they're very flimsy. I have a support behind them, but they're just, they're not doing well. Still, what we're after here is the hydrophobics of the glass. So let's jump into it, see how things are holding up. So there's two products in here around the six month mark that we called failed. Griot's is one of them, Rain-X is the other, and for some reason they've come back a little bit. So not to the point where we would call them failed at all. Not sure what's going on with that. Maybe it was just like a really humid day or something when we did the update. But looking at all the others right now, Nexet maybe got a little wear. Armor All starting to get some wear on it. Adam's glass sealant still looks good. You know, there's, it's really good to see that all these are performing well for the most part. And with the exception of maybe Aquapel and some others, they are very easy to reapply. Aquapel being, you've heard me talk about it in the past, it's what we install in our shop. It's been, it's pretty difficult to install. You have to be very quick. Shatter X looking good. System X got a little wear on it. Glossit's got a little wear on it. Glassparency's got a little wear on it. So they're definitely starting to weaken. Looks like, you know, at this point, probably expect to get somewhere around a year out of it. Nano Cotex Hydroglass got some wear. G Technic G1, G2. Looking a little bit better than that. Nano Cotex. Looks like Carbon Collective is probably going to be one of our next failures. You can see it's sticking pretty good. NG, NT, very hydrophobic. That's a company in Switzerland. I don't know what, what brand name they are entering the market in, but it won't, or, or under, but it won't be NG, NT. I still don't know much else about it other than it's a company that's Switzerland based. So there's your update, guys. Not a lot of changes to report. Wish I had more for you on this one this month, but that it is what it is. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.